Hey you guys, it's Lacey, and today I wanted to show you a little contraption I made uh, to cool off steam from uh, magma or a geyser. I don't have geysers on this map, unfortunately, so I can't test it with a geyser, but a geyser is much cooler. So what will work for magma will work for a geyser. Here I have this convoluted little tunnel for the steam to go through. I want it to be small so it limits the amount that can go through. These are all abyssalite tiles here. Um, also, this keeps the water from flowing in super fast. It makes it go really slow. It does seem to be a little fast since my magma has cooled off a little bit, but it still works. I'm gonna open it up and show you what happens. Um, so this can get too hot when Or I will when they wake up. Okay, so this can get a little too hot um, when using it with magma. I'm pretty sure it won't be a problem with this steam from a geyser because I'm pretty sure it's not 300 degrees. But since this is steam that is 300 degrees Celsius, I do have to cool it off every once in a while. And to do that, I just put an insulated block right there and hold the steam in. As you see, I have this chaotic dance of ice being made um, and water being made and steam happening all at the same time. Uh, so it's really interesting. Uh, so when the steam comes in, this wall is hopefully cooler than the steam. So it should cool it down a little bit. And then these wheeze warts uh, cool the ambient air temperature. This is full of ice, so it drops ice. Well, it drops water whenever it melts and cools down the temperature of the room as well. I also have an escape hatch here so that it, the heat can get out um, and the cool can get in. And I have these three wheeze warts that are working on cooling that. Um, it does rise, you know, pretty fast. Um, but not too fast. Um, it, it cools down a lot by the time it gets up to the top. If it does get to the top, it's usually green. I'm not exactly sure what temperature. This pretty much keeps up with the steam and it's 300 degrees um, Celsius. And it's not heating up up here. I mean, this is warm, but that's because it is in a warm biome. Make sure you use insulated pipes made of abyssalite through here. This one isn't made of abyssalite. It's made of wolframite. <laughs> and I can't, I had trouble getting them to actually remake it because it keeps getting damaged. So we'll see what happens. And just however you put your water in here, make sure it's going in slowly. If you get too much water going so that you're not making steam anymore, you can always cut your water supply off or you can use a pump and drip it in here. I was just experimenting without doing that. If it does get too hot and your buildings start getting damaged, if you're using magma, um, just put that block there and let it cool off for a little bit and it shouldn't be a problem. You know, after you let it cool off, open it back up. If your buildings start getting damaged again, close it back up. But yeah, you can see where I changed my design a little bit. I started out with a deeper V. I was in like going for a solar distiller type thing, but it wasn't working because of the water physics. So I cut the bottom off, made it shallower, and it seems to be working just fine. Gets me a decent amount of water. Um, I don't really need it in this space a ton but it does work. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss me when I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern or when I post a video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And always remember, you are special and amazing, and thank you for being you, because you're awesome. I love you guys. Bye.